I lived a lifestyle that was full of partying, drinking, and I sold drugs. I didn't work. Um, yeah, that's what I did. I was a heavy drinker, and um, that's all we did. We just partied. We went to a friend's house, my son's father and I, and they were having like a little house party or whatever, and I didn't really want to go because I, I wasn't comfortable being where I was. And, um, but I went anyway, and um, I was, I had a pocket full of Xanax bars because I was selling Xanax. I had too many pills that night, so I wanted to sell them off where I was going, and um, I did. And um, there was a girl there that um, we didn't really get along, but that night, I took her, she gave me um, a t-shirt to put on because I remember being really, really hot. And um, we went in the room and we were talking and we, we got over our issue and we were okay after that. And um, a lot of that night I don't remember, but somewhere along the way we ended up at a club on Broad River Road and um, I was sent back to the neighborhood me and her in um, her boyfriend's car. And on the way back, I lost control of the car on I-26, going back towards Bush River Road. Cut across three lanes of traffic and smacked a tree. And um, my passenger was the one that got injured. She had a close head injury. It was October 30th, though. She died um, almost 10 months later after the accident. I got convicted of felony DUI with death, reckless homicide, and possession of Schedule Four narcotics, Xanax bars. And they gave me 20 years for it, and I served 17 off of it. My son grew up visiting me in the penitentiary system, and it took, um, it took a long time for him to even acknowledge that I was his mom because he didn't know me, I was a stranger. He was only nine months when I got locked up. I got out in 2022. So 2014 is when I started down in welding. And I started as just um, basically a secretary. I did um, inventory, attendance, graded papers, and then I began to teach myself how to weld. Um, I had another student, she helped me a lot, but I did learn it and passed all my book work, all my tests, and all my plate tests. Probably my last 30, day, 30 days in March of 2022, um, the pre-release coordinator, Camille, came to me and told me that I had been selected to participate in the Goodwill Pathways Home Reentry Program. And I said, okay, I'll see what they have to say. And um, I listened and paid attention. And um, it, helped, it made me realize that I, this is something I did want to try. So I gave it a shot and it's, everything's been successful so far. They've, um, Misha has really helped me a lot um, as far as like getting prepared for my job. I was at a um, halfway house that I just was not satisfied at and she gave me other resources and helped me look up for my driver's license, see if I was eligible to get it back and how much it would cost and everything. And um, she also gave me some other resources that I could try out for different halfway houses as well. She also got me lift vouchers to get me back and forth to work for like my first 30 days, I believe it was, because I, I can't have a driver's license for 10 years. So transportation is a big issue for me. But um, that helped a lot. And through that, I've been successful. And when he realized I was in the passenger seat when we went to go pick him up, it took him a second to realize it. And then when he realized it was me, he was like, oh, so happy to see me. And I just got out and we hugged and he squeezed me and he just held me. And I just, I'll do anything. That's, he's my reason that I do, that I made the, the change in my life that I made, not only for myself, but he was the biggest reason for it.